Hello friends, welcome to our channel, The Kraken. So in this session, the CIA by The Kraken. So we are going to discuss a very important topic that is case study on old man Z score. So if we talk about this topic specifically, old man Z score. Normally in the exams, you know, regular they are asking this old man Z score for the five marks, right? So normally they are asking five mark case study from this Altman J school. So if we talk about the last previous BFM exam in the CIB, they are asking some. Uh, they have asked some you know uh, theoretical questions from this uh, you know part of the BFM, right? So this is very important uh, with respect to the exams we talk if we talk about. So we have already shared the theory. The theory part of this Altman J score we have already discussed. I have already discussed in the previous one. So you just need to go to the playlist of the BFM and sort this. You will get to know. And uh, what's about the you know very important one? Like uh, I have already discussed the E storm, E storm of this Altman J score formula in that previous one. You will get to know all the things, the theory part in that video specifically. And uh, in this session we are going to discuss some case study like two case studies more importantly right so which are very important that will be give you some more clarity that is how to solve the case study questions in the exam right so if you are if you are new to our channel then just uh, subscribe to it so that you will get the updated contents and some more contents like we are planning like mcq and uh, case study related to the exam specially and some contents important contents regarding the exams for the CIB more specifically and uh, we are planning for the GIB well right so let's start the session for today <coughs> so this is the one second so this is the first question that is just read it for one 10 seconds then I'll tell you that is how to solve this right okay so here is the question is like ss manufacturer produces car engines they have been in the business for almost 20 years they have been profitable enough to employ more staffs and increase their productions but with a recent loan taken to facilitate automations investors in want to know how the company is doing that means importantly those you know in the any types of company there are some shareholders or investors those who have invested their you know their money for the business of that company right so ss is doing good business as per this you know last 20 years so they have the good hold of profitability to employ any types of staffs and increase their production but still recently they have taken one loan so as they have taken the loan the investors have uh, some doubt that whether the ss company is doing good or not that means uh, see these are the data that have been given so more importantly see the question is uh, asking indirectly that means if you talk about the altman z score that means why this altman z score is used that means to calculate or to determine the performance of any company right so performance of company if we talk about then to calculate this we need to calculate the altman z score right so for this the data has been given like these are the data that is total asset has been given 35 lakhs and uh, they have been also a working capital of 42 lakhs their liability stands at something like 50 lakhs return earning amount to something like 8 lakhs and earning before tax that is 65 lakhs 
and sales is 83 lakhs and total uh, equity that is market value of equity is 70 lakhs right so by using all these terms we need to calculate the altman z score so i have already discussed the formula for the altman z score and the, all the is terms so just for your reference let me show you the formula again so so this is the formula for the altman z score that is 1.2 into a plus 1.4 into b plus 3.3 .3 into c 0 0.6 into d 1 <coughs> point into e so uh, to remember this uh, you just remember uh, you, you just need to remember this formula and uh, each terms what is a b c d e see here a b c d e so a means working capital divided by total asset and b means retail earning divided by total assets c is earning before interest and tax divided by total assets and d is market value of equity and divided by long term liabilities and e is the ratio of sales and total asset ratios right so let's first write some uh, whatever the things they have been given like uh, here it's given what is first we need working capital so working capital how much what is working capital that is 42 lakhs right so next one is like total asset <laughs> total asset how much uh, it's like 35 lakhs and uh, next one is retained earning so i will write re is like how much retained earning is uh, something like 8 lakhs so next one will be like uh, how much earning before interest and tax that will be for uh, reference e earning before interest and tax that is 65 lakhs and the next one is sales that will be like 83 lakhs and next one is equity equity is 70 lakhs right so here is all the terms has been given and uh, by using this we need to solve the questions see here one term is like retained earning so what is the retained earning we can see retained earning is the you know after deducting all the net uh, you know income like uh, any types of profit or loss so it's like re0 this is the beginning uh, value of the earnings minus ni and <coughs> net, net income or uh, by deducting this d d means dividend <coughs> right so this is dividend this is net income and this is beginning value so this is just for reference by using this we need to calculate the uh, is term and then we need to solve this altman z score so this is altman z score so see <coughs> so if you are calculating if you are putting all the terms then we are going to solve this this much like uh, a is how much here a is working capital divided by total asset working capital is 42 lakhs divided by total asset that means uh, whatever is the tl that is uh, this is total assets right so liability has been given total liability is 50 lakhs so 42 lakhs divided by 35 lakhs and uh, return earning how much 8 lakhs divided by 35 lakhs and uh, c is earning before tax and all so that is 65 divided by 35 65 divided by 35 lakhs and uh, market value of equity that is 70 lakhs divided by total liability something like 50 lakhs and uh, e is the sales divided by total assets sales has been given something like 83 divided by 30 so by solving all those things see here this is the equation by solving this we are getting value of a value of b and value of c value of d and value of e so by multiplying all those things 1.2 with a 1.4 with b 1 3.3 with c 0 0.6 with d 1.0 with e so we are getting the value as 11.097 so this is the value of z so 
whether this uh, score is good or not we have already discussed the range of the j score so whether how with respect to the j you know range of the score we will get to know we will decide the performance or credibility of the company right we can say credibility right so with the score of 11.097 the company is doing so good so it's good in business so more profitable also that means the investors no need to worry so they just uh, uh, you know they, they are also going to get some more higher returns so this ss firm is in the something like more safe zone right so this is the things so for more uh, regarding this is about the case study we are doing so for more concepts more related to all the east terms to get to know or to have the idea regarding east terms in details just refer to the theory part of this altman j score right so let's solve the second questions as well so this is the question number two so just read it let's assume abc financial statement has been given so here sales sales is 1 million edit earning before tax and all that is 5 lakhs and total asset is 2 million and the book value of total liability total liability is 1 million it in earning is 1 million market value is of equity of market value is 3 million and the working capital is 5 lakhs right so as we know the you know formula so this is the detailed solution for this so still just uh, try to remember this uh, formula first right uh, this is the formula of uh, j score that is allman j score equation right so we need to calculate a b c d e each term first then accordingly we need to solve this see here uh, working capital is how much something like uh, here this is the working capital 5 lakhs divided by 2 million and b is the return earning return earning is something like 1 million divided by 2 million so c is the tot uh, earning before in interest and tax that is divided by total asset so that is 5 lakhs divided by 2 million so d is the market value of the equity so market value of equity is here and uh, that is uh, 3 million divided by 1 million and e is the sales divided by total asset so this is the sales divided by total asset that is 1 million divided by 2 million right so by solving this equation we can easily solve that is we are getting this is the value of a is 0 0.25 the b is 0 0.5 c is 0 0.25 and d is 3 and e is 0 0.5 so by multiplying a with 1.2 b with 1.4 c with 3.3 d with 0.6 e with 1 we are getting this much value 0.3 plus 0 0.7 plus 0 0.825 plus 1.8 plus 0.5 so we are getting 4.125 right so with the score of so this is like z score the term is represented as z score so by getting this much score whether this is safe zone or in danger zone so to know the details whether the this range is good or not just refer the previous video there we have discussed i have uh, discussed all the terms all the ranges in you know more deeply so that we will get to know all the details in that regarding this right so so this one is with the score of 4.1 4.125 that means uh, the company is not close to insolvency so it's not that much uh, uh, close to insolvency but still uh, the company is doing well with a score of decent score this is like decent score with three uh, it's like you know 4.1 means three plus score so this means the investor and creditor should not be too worried about the company according to this metric instead they should look to other indicators to get a full picture of abc business right so that means here investor no need to be worried 
but still uh, if we need to know uh, the full details of the ABC then we need to also look for uh, other factors regarding the business criteria right so here the score is like 4.125 that means it's more than something like 3 that means no need to worry that uh, but need some improvements it's like a decent score very close to 3 so the ABC needs to improve there are some uh, uh, you know business criteria like sales and other things so to get to know all the details of the ranges and uh, age terms just follow the previous one and uh, this is the uh, two case studies that we have discussed regarding the alt manager score right so as i have mentioned this alt manager score is very important with respect to the bfm right so just make sure you have a good uh, you know clarity in this session specially and uh, just refer this and uh, try to solve this relate the things with the case studies right then only because uh, in the exams uh, the case study including theory <coughs> is being asked so just make sure that you have uh, clarity regarding this session right so this is all about our altman z score we have discussed thanks for watching this and uh, subscribe to the kraken channel so that you know So that you will get all the updates regarding all the contents we are going to upload and uh, just say like share with your colleagues and friends those who are preparing for the exams right so that uh, they will also get benefited from this contents right so for more updates don't forget to click the bell icon so that you will never miss any updates from our channel right so thanks again and take care of yourself and just keep learning thanks for watching our videos